7.30, guys, we're starting a new series, The Laws of Lashon Hara. We're starting a new series, The Laws of Lashon Hara. And uh, today's my birthday, actually. My English birthday. And uh, it's a good way to start a new thing, to start something new. And I'm happy Hashem gave me this opportunity to do it. So good morning, friends. We're starting The Laws of Lashon Hara. There's a very, very interesting pasuk. In Tehillim, and the Pasuk tells us that when it describes it describes this whole situation in the desert, it's in Psalm 106, and it tells us that when Hashem, when with the Jewish people, they heard the report of the spies, Hashem was very very upset with them, and he says, He raised his hand, so to speak, to swear. On Paklalse, he made an oath that they, he's gonna cast them. He's gonna cast them in a desert. And he's he's gonna take his their children, the seed, and he's gonna cast them among the nations to scatter them among in different lands. So what it means that from the moment already we were in the desert. It was decreed. It was decreed that uh, we're gonna be in exile. And Rashi brings down over there that when they, they were sitting and and um, and crying, was sitting and crying. Hashem looked at them. He says, "What? You complain for nothing? You cry for nothing without reason? I'm gonna bring you a reason in the future that you will have reason to cry. And on that day, the Beit Hamikdash is gonna be destroyed, and your descendants are gonna be exiled." Uh, from Eretz Israel, from the land of Israel. So we're learning this book. It's called the Hafez Chaim and Shmirat Al Lashon. Is one of the items he brings down here that were, was already in the, in the desert decreed upon us that we're going to be exiled. And we know this: the fact that we are today we're in exile. Uh, the fact that today we're in exile is because of this sin of Lashon Ara. And as soon as we fix the sin, as soon as we uproot. Sinat Chinam, the baseless hatred, we're going to return to our land. We're going to return to our home, to Eretz Israel, And that's the only way. That's the only way to do it. Furthermore, he brings down here that uh, why the Jewish people were enslaved in Egypt. It's talking about Moshe Rabbeinu. Remember the story of Moshe Rabbeinu? He saw two people fighting. And he tells to one of them, Rasha, the evil one, why are you striking your friend? And then, eventually, people find out, Pharaoh finds out that, that uh, Moshe killed uh, an Egyptian, defending his, a Jew. And the Pasuk says like this, Now, it, the matter became known. Meaning what? The, the fact that I killed uh, uh, this Egyptian and became known, people know about it. And now I'm in danger. The Pharaoh wanted to, to execute him. So Moshe runs away. He runs away from this moment and on. But uh, the commentary brings bring down that what does it mean? Achen noda hadavar. That now I understand. Moshe Rabbeinu says now I understand what the Jewish people are are punished. So before it was troubling me. He says why why they're working so hard? Why they're getting punished with this uh, enslavement? He says achen noda hadavar. Now I understand. Says Moshe Rabbeinu. Now that somebody snitched on me, somebody informed a pharaoh about me he, he he spoke about his fellow jew now i understand why they are suffering is because of the sin of the shonara so it brings down here number one that the people that complain like people when we complain in the in the desert we bring upon ourselves uh, suffering and exile right it was decreed that our our descendants are going to be exiled which is happening for past two thousand years Number two, a person is going to be, end up working very, very hard and enslaved, like the Jewish people who were enslaved in Egypt because of the sin of Lashon Arab. Uh, furthermore, Hashem says, you know, when, when you talk about each other, when you gossip about each other, I don't want to be here. It's a, a selective, 
Silaxi Shina Mibenechem. I remove my presence from amongst you. I don't want to be a part of this conversation, says Hashem. And hopefully in the future, when the Jewish people remove this sin, I will be back. I will be back. I will be again part of these people. The Pasuk tells us that the, there, was a, there will be a king in Yishurun among the Jewish people when when the heads of the people gather together. Meaning what? When there is a unity, when there is a unity among the Jewish people, when each Jewish leader is ready to shake hands with another Jewish leader and says, yes, I disagree with you on matter, on a lot of things, but I still respect you and I'm not going to talk behind your back, when this happens, you know, then, then when Hashem is going to be part of us, then his uh, Hishkana is going to be, is, uh, is going to return домой сладким. Спасибо, что ты мне напомнил, да, я забыл. Да, да, я все забыл. The beauty of working from home, yes. So when the Jewish leaders get together and when they respect each other, then when that's when Hashem becomes the king, that's when uh, his shina be, uh, uh, returns to us. Okay, we ask Hashem for different blessings. We ask for help. We ask for money for abundance, we ask for a spouse, we ask, we ask for children, we ask for different blessings to come down to us. But how can we, how can we bring, how can Hashem bring down these blessings if we're constantly talking about other people? We, this is, it's not that we're talking about other people. This is, it doesn't bring this, when we gossip and we talk about other people, it doesn't bring blessing, it brings a curse. The Pasuk tells us in the Torah, The Torah tells us that the person who strikes his fellow is going to be cursed. The person who strikes his fellow is going to be cursed. The, the one who strikes him, Basatr, in uh, hiddenly. So, this is talking about Lashonara. How else can you strike somebody hiddenly? This is, a, this is the most uh, classic explanation. When the, when the person is not around me and I'm talking about him, I'm basically striking him, I'm causing him harm. And for something like that, there's a curse. So, if we want blessing, we need to zip. Right? We need to stop talking about other people. We need to stop talking about other people, about other kind of Jews, about other organizations, about other... Trans in the Judaism, yeah, he says, oh, the Hasidim, the, you know, the, the literature talking about the Hasidim, the Hasidim talking about the literature, and the Ashkenaz talking about uh, the Sephardim, and the Sephardim talking about Ashkenaz. We need to stop all of this, and that's the only way we can bring down the blessing. But, if we do talk about other people in a negative way, in a other kind of Jews, and that brings down a curse. As it says, Arur Make Re'eru Basat. Okay, furthermore, he brings down here the give he says that the sin of talking about badly about other people it's so big ad ain shiur it's like it almost has no measurement you know there's a famous tale that uh, a person he talks badly about another guy he ruins the guy's reputation and then he comes to the rabbi he says you know rabbi I feel guilty about it he says no problem I have a special zgula for you. I have a special remedy. Uh, go Take a pillow, go up to the mountain, rip the pillow and let all the feathers fly away and then come back to me. So the guy did it. He says, Rabbi, am I good? That's it. My sins are forgiven. He says, no, now, now is a part two. Part two is go now collect these feathers. He says, how can I collect these feathers? It's all over the place. I don't even know where they are. He says, this is exactly what you did by speaking about your friend, by ruining his reputation. You cause so much harm, you can no longer fix it. And this is what, what the I think the Gemara means. This, the sin of talking and gossiping about other people, it uh, has almost no... It's like uh, unlimited. It goes be, beyond any possible uh, uh, measurements that we can think about. 
Somebody who continuously talks about uh, other people as, as if he's kofer beikar, he undermines the foundations of uh, Judaism. There also says in different Gemara in the pair, that person is going to suffer in this world for talking about others, for gossiping, but the the main thing he's going to get in Olam Abba. So, whatever whatever fires back, whatever harm comes back to him, that's only nothing. It's nothing compared to what he's going to get in Olam Abba. And the last item for today. Ух ты, добро. Спасибо, спасибо. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're in the middle of show right now, so okay. אוקיי, ואין לקמן בפסיכת בספר שמירת לשון, שם התקינו כל מאמרי חשש. So that's the bottom line to summarize. That's summarize that we, everything we learned today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so number one, we says that the Jewish people in the desert, they were complaining and they were talking uh, badly about Eretz Israel. They listened to the report of the spies. And this caused the whole scene of... Uh, uh, that caused the decree that the Jewish people are going to be exiled and kicked out from their land. Uh, number one. Number two, we learned that um, uh, Hashem he removes His Shinai, He removes His presence from among the Jewish people. If there is no unity, there is no uh, cooperation, there is no togetherness, Hashem says, I don't want to be there. I don't want to be their king. They don't stick together. Also, we said that uh, because of the sin of Lashon Ara, the people were enslaved in Egypt and causes uh, hard labor. And uh, the one of the last items we said that if we want blessing, we need to take out Lashon Ara. We need to take out the gossip from our life. And because if we do gossip, we bring curse, not blessing. And if we want blessing, we need to watch our mouth. So Bizad Hashem, this, uh, this class we're going to have daily at 7.30 a.m. to like quarter to eight, around so. Uh, please join us uh, through Zoom or through Facebook Live. Uh, have a great day. Uh, Hashem should give you a lot of blessing. Financial, health. The main thing is the health right now. Everyone should be healthy. You and your family, everyone, whoever is watching this, stay safe, stay healthy. And all the simcha, all the joy in your life. Thank you.